was music always a part of your growing up? Was it something? Let's let's dive into that. I'm always yeah. curious uh, from artists like how how that you know is it in your DNA? Your parents? Yeah, yeah, all all of the above. My uh, my dad, uh, he's a retired police officer and crime scene investigator. But and it's funny. Oh wow. He, and my mom also, she worked for the fire department for years, but they both played music. My dad was in bands. He, we, they were bluegrassers. So from the time I was born, we were going to bluegrass festivals, uh, you know, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana. Oh, but, that's awesome. That's I kind of awesome. grew, grew up a bluegrass kid. I mean, every weekend there were people at the house or we were at someone's house. So, you know, I started learning guitar when I was like six, learning how to play along in those jam sessions, you know, so... Wow. Um, and then, you know, and by the time I was in of course, you know, like everybody, I had my rock bands in middle school and, uh, but I was <laughs> yeah. also going and playing all these festivals and flat picking contests and stuff. And, um, I started traveling in a bluegrass band, um, with some guys that were from down close to way down and they were all lived in Grosbeck, Texas. Grosbeck. Wow. Great yeah. place. Yeah. yeah all, I know that place. Small little place. I spent, I spent a couple summers in Grosbeck. And we would go play all those festivals and, and, you know, same thing, Oklahoma and Arkansas, Louisiana, all around Texas, those little festivals that, you know, people put on. And um, that's kind of where it started. And then, uh, and then I made my way to Nashville because, uh, well, I had a buddy there that was a bluegrass guy and he had moved to Nashville and he supposedly had us a gig that... (laughs) I know the story, right? I know the story. It didn't transpire. I I packed up and moved on up. I quit my job at this music store and broke up with my girl. Oh, wow. You have to come come do the whole thing. And then uh, uh, it wasn't there. So, but I stayed. um, And it was cool because the Station Inn, which is the famous bluegrass place in Nashville, kind of became my home away from home because all the bluegrass guys were hanging there. And it was you know, it was cool for me moving to Nashville back then because like Jerry Douglas and Sam Bush and Bela Fleck and Mark O'Connor and all those guys were in Nashville, but also so was Guy and Towns and Rodney Crowell and Delbert McClinton and, you know, Emmy Lou Harris was like, there was, they were all hanging out at these bars together. And oh my first, God. When I first moved to town, man, I kind of found the places where those guys were hanging out and it was just it was just cool, man. You'd walk into, oh, there's Towns. Absolutely, yeah. Towns just got kicked out of South Street, standing out on the <laughs> trying to figure out how to get home. You know, like, <laughs> it was awesome. It was a neat, it was a neat time to to be here because it was kind of right, right before the whole nineties. The, right, sure. They call it the great, the great credibility scare of the late eighties. <laughs> you know, like think about it, man. Like I never radio, heard that. I never heard radio, that. Okay. Radio was what country radio was doing in the late eighties was pretty much what Americana is doing now. It's like, it was Steve Earle. It was Andrew Harris, um, uh, Doe Canes, Foster and Lloyd, uh, Kathy Matea, you know, like Tim O'Brien had a major label deal. Like they, that was kind of what was going on and it was pretty cool, you know? And then the whole nineties hat cowboy hat explosion happened and everything kind of, <laughs> Everybody started making billions of dollars and it all kind of kind of changed. So but it's hard to write that money starts coming in, I guess, for some people. It's hard to, yeah. you know, no, yeah, you, can't, no. you can't deny it. But yeah, but yeah, it was <laughs> fun. It was fun. That's kind of how it all it rolled for me. And I just kind of made my found my way into the, you know, into the business here.